Hello, my name is Sora. Welcome to another First Impressions video. Today we'll be taking a look at Path of Exile. Uh, Path of Exile is a free-to-play online action RPG game developed and published by Grinding Gear Games. Now, this game has been out for a while because it's, I think, initially came out back in 2013. And uh, it's going strong. I mean, it is free-to-play, it's on Steam, and I think it's rated like 9 out of 10 on Steam and like 90% on PC Gamer. So this game is great. I mean, this game was supposed to be like what Diablo 3 should have been. And uh, it is completely free to play. There's no pay to win transactions at all. So I am really excited to check this game out. Now, I think I did check this game out like a long time ago when it first came out, but I, didn't, I couldn't really get into it. But let's see how good it is. Wow. So, okay. So there was a, a bit of a cutscene. Well, not a cutscene. I mean, it's, it's pretty cool how they did that. Okay, so now we have to create a class. And basically, we just have to click on one of these guys. To be honest with you, I don't know who to pick. So it seems like there is some voice acting. So whenever you click on a specific character, there is voice acting. So this was a duelist. Now this is the Marauder. Um, this is the Templar. I'm guessing this is like the healer kind of thing. I'm not, like, I, I heard this was a very classless system, so I'm not quite sure. I'm guessing this is like the thief kind of the character. I'm guessing this is the bowman or bow woman, obviously, and which I'm guessing is like the mage. Oh my gosh, that, that animation though. All right, well, you know what? Let's go with Duelist, because I think Duelist is going to be pretty cool. So the music in this game actually is pretty sick. I wonder, can you zoom in? Oh, you can zoom in. That's awesome. Uh, skip all tutorials. You know what? We're going to go YOLO. Dying exile. Oh, oh my gosh. Zombie? All right. So from what I hear, I think you can put this into one of the sockets and then it gives you kind of like a skill double strike and later if you don't want it I mean if you don't if you want to change your weapon you can just take it out of the socket hmm I can't seem to find the hide UI button if you guys know let me know in the comment section below but let's go let's see what we can do I wonder if this is like Diablo oh this is like Diablo when you press tab it shows you the map Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you actually take a lot of damage. My spirit is spent. And then as you use mana, you use the mana potion to regain mana. Sounds good. Oh, what? You can miss attacks in this game? Okay, there we go. Man, these monsters are not dropping anything. Chance to bleed support. Can I equip this as well? Awesome. All right. Oh, there's only a 25% chance that it'll happen. Okay. I guess if it was 100%, it'd be too OP. I'm pretty sure this game has the craziest skill tree or talent tree in the world. Oh, and we see a little picture of ourselves as well. Okay, uh, I'm guessing it's good to go with strength first. I mean, it's so in depth. I don't know if there is actually a formula to making the best duelist. I'm pretty sure there are like a lot of guys. Maybe I should have kind of checked them out before starting the game. But then again, that kind of takes away the fun of, oh my goodness, it's a boss. Uh, take this. Take this. I see a blue sword. Uh, iron ring. Leather cap. And then there's no money. I just, I, I just, yeah. So there's no currency in this game. And I think if you sell stuff at the shop, or at, at, like at a merchant, instead of getting money, you get other items. Oh wow. Now that we're in the town, I see a bit of lagging happening. Oh. Alright, so we get like... 
All right, so we get a we get a new stone kind of thing, new gem. Awesome. Oh, there's a lightning attack. AOE slash bow. Uh, AOE melee fire cleave. I think I'm just gonna go with a molten strike instead of cleave. Cause it's it's a bit of an elemental thing, right? And we have an extra socket for it, so there's a quest here and a quest here. And then we talk to Bestel once again. And then we have to travel to Tidal Island and find the medicine chest. Alright, let's go do that. But it'll have to do for now. Hey, our own character has voices as well. That's awesome. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my goodness. I mean, we do a lot of damage, but they do a lot of damage as well. So I'm guessing these these stones have levels. Level 1, level 2, level 2. Awesome! Oh, I gotta say, this is actually a pretty cool skill. So when you strike, there's two molten fireballs that kind of shoot at them. Oh my goodness, that scared me. Alright, level again. This is strength, and this is increased attack damage. I wonder what's better. Strength? Or attack damage because now that I think about it I don't have a lot of attack damage right so I think it might be better to go with strength for now right click to drink can only hold charges while in belt refills as you kill monsters it refills as you kill monsters oh wait oh wait iron gauntlets we can take those scroll of wisdom sounds good to identify items I like how your character visually changes with new armor. That's a good touch. I mean, there is literally zero cust uh, character customization in this game, so... Oh man, these guys down there are going crazy over me. Oh my goodness. Wow. Iron ring, I'll take that. Why are crabs on land? Come on, crabs should be in the ocean. I mean, these crabs look like like red lobster crabs. Kind of getting hungry. Yeah, we gotta level that up. I am kind of enjoying the fact that I don't have to pick up everything. Because that gets really, really hectic. Oh, whoops. Oh, I see. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, chill, chill. Guys, chill. Oh my goodness. Um, we found a rusted hatchet. Alright, let's see how good this is. Elemental damage, 8 to dexterity. Adds 2 to 3 fire damage, cold damage, increased attack speed. You know what? Oh, but then I can't use double strike. Wait, can you wield two weapons? Whoa, wow. Okay, so you can wield two weapons. I wonder if it makes any difference which hand the sword is in, which hand the hatchet is in. But I think it just feels more natural with the better weapon on the right side. A hey, level. Oh, waypoint. Oh, I like this. It's bright. It's colorful feels like i'm on a vacation at hawaii or something oh my days see it feels more natural to see crabs here usually when i play a game for 30 minutes i know right away like i don't want to play this game anymore but it's not like that with this game oh i found the medicine chest so we got a couple of new items 11 percent fire resistant it's better than what I have now. And this is 2% dodge attack, 10%. Is this a hat? Oh, I have to be level 5 to equip it. Let's hand in our quest. I'd almost stop believing in miracles. Ooh, I can get one of these. Medium life flask. Medium mana flask. I mean, I have... What is this? Consumes 20 of 50 charges on use, currently has 0 charges. Increased movement speed, oh. Hmm, it, but it only lasts 4 seconds. 
Yeah, I don't think that's very useful. Okay, the game does freeze a little bit in the town because there are other people. More exclamation marks. Travel up the coast to Mud Flats. Oh, look at that skin! Dang, that looks so sick. You know what? Let me let me use this time to check out the shop because I I, I want to see. There is zero pay to win aspect to this game, so I'm guessing everything is cosmetic. Special, arcane skill effect pack. Uh, gore herald effect. Can you actually see what they do? Oh, wow. Oh, this is actually pretty cool. So everything is called a cosmetic. Weapons. Skin transfers, ice weapon effect, fire weapon effect, cool looking dagger. Ooh, look at that sword. Wow, they actually make the designs really cool. You know, makes makes people want to spend money. That's good. I hear I, I hear monsters. Hey guys. Man, I am melting these dudes. All right, let's go. Yo, leveled up again. The leveling in this game is actually faster than I expected. Oh my goodness, that's a boss. Oh my goodness, I thought I was gonna die there. I love the slow movie ones, they're such an easy target. Okay, so my targets turn blue, so I'm guessing that's the cold damage that's coming in. That's a cool little effect to add. Oh, hi. Thank the gods. I found a way. 11 Respect. incursions remaining. I'm guessing that's like a dungeon then. What's this? Take the glyph to the glyph wall. Submerged passage is now open. Ooh, I see a waypoint. Oh, what the heck is this? It's got tentacles, man. Man, this reminds me so much of Diablo 2. The amount of nostalgia I'm getting right now, it's insane. Come here. I wonder if it's possible to get another skill. Kind of getting tired of using the same skill over and over. That's a boss. Getting a lot of items. Let's clear the mobs first though. What do you do? Uh, 49 increased physical damage. Mana gained on kill. I'll take it. Oh, but there's no green. I'm gonna have to give up double strike. Oh, I can put it in here. Hey, okay, double strike is back. I have been playing for a little over an hour and it feels like I've been playing for like 10 minutes. Time goes by so quickly. I have to admit, this is the most fun I've had with a game in a very, very long time. Man, that's another molten strike. I'm not taking much damage now. Wait, do they even damage me? I I guess slowly. Breaking some eggs. Talk to Tarkley for your reward. Sounds awesome. So I finished a quest without even knowing I was finishing a quest. Oh wow. Okay, so we're outside. I like that. More sun. We need some sun after spending so much time. Okay. Alright! To be honest, I was a bit scared there. I thought I was gonna die, but it worked out fantastically and we don't have boots. So these chain boots are gonna come in handy. Here's the rancid. Sadly, this holy site has fallen to the Destroy the corrupted relics within the time limit. Oh my gosh.
Okay, this is getting hectic now. Oh, they are respawning. It's got life regen. Oh, well that was that was quick. That was some damn divine slaughter you delivered there, Crusader. Thank you. And my reputation went up. I have to travel to Lion Eyes Watch. I think that's the very first town. Decoy Totem, Ancestral Protector, summons an Ancestral Totem, punctures the target causing bleeding debuff, Vigilant Strike, attacks the enemy with a powerful melee strike. You gain the Fortify buff, granting damage reduction. We'll go with Puncture. What's this? Grants a passive skill point. You'll take it. All right, let's see. Let's see what this Q ability does. Is this a passive? Oh, it's just a normal strike that actually does... Oh... Oh, so it's like a normal strike that does debuff and it makes the, makes the enemy or monster bleed. Like that. Oh, you know what? I think that's gonna come in handy for bossing. The skill itself doesn't look very great, but it's still pretty good. I like it. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, and I have to say, I am loving this game. I didn't think I was gonna get into this game this much. I've played it for about a couple hours now, and I get the feeling that I'm going to play this even more. You know what? I actually want to stream this as well on Twitch, just, just for the hell of it, because it's so much fun. So here's my thought on this game. So first of all, it's free to play. That's why I gave it a shot, because I don't lose out anything by trying this game out and it was actually really really good and the combat is actually really really fun the sound that it makes on impact is just so nice the cash shop the weapons and the items that i saw in the cash shop was also really really good as well i kind of get the feeling that i will be playing this game even after i stop recording just because it was that much fun but i guess some downside to this game is that it's really hard to find new skills i've been using the same skill for the past couple hours so it's really hard to come by certain skills. I did run into one skill gem and happens to be the one that I got for free so that was rip on my part but other than that I can't really think of anything that's a downside to this game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did please do smash that thumbs up button. If you guys are new subscribe for more gaming content. Thank you for watching and let me know what you guys think of this game. Have you guys tried it? Do you guys play it now or do you guys want to want to try it? Let me know in the comment section below but anyways Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.